Python, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from this show and can spare even a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on break in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. Today, we're actually talking about Python. Yes, you heard me, Python. Python has been in integrated into Metasploit's Meterpreter as an interpreter on the victim side. The cool thing about this is now, well, while Railgun was awesome, and we've talked about Railgun in the past, Windows API calls are tough. The cool thing about Python is it's a little simpler, except for the spaces and tabs. And I'm going to get hate mail, msf at hack5.org. Go ahead. I understand. It's a horrible language. <laughs> you can cut that out. Maybe not. Whatever. All right. So, interpreter now has a Python extension inside of, uh, inside of it. So, so all you have to do is load Python it, on here. On our session, we have, and it's loading Python. Hopefully, it won't take forever. It's Python. There we go. Finally, it works. All right, the cool thing about this is now that I can run Python code on the session. Now, while it doesn't have all the libraries and I can't just, you know, load arbitrary libraries into it, it does have a lot of the basic ones that are there already. So I can do stuff like port scanning or stuff like that, which is a lot faster to do on host instead of through Meterpreter. So let's look at what we have now. Using a question mark, as always, we can see the ex added commands that we now have. We have Python execute. So if I did Python, Python execute, dash H. So we're going to say print, or how about quotes, print, hello. And that will print hello. Pretty simple. We can do a lot more than that, though. The cool thing about this is that we can import modules or files after we do that. So if we import, if we import a Python file or, or module, we can actually import libraries one at a time. So as we get further down and, and make sure that these, these are tested, we can have an entire suite of tools imported into our current working session. Now, I've tried to get um, Impacket working, which is one of my favorite Python libraries, but it's too huge. Um, and I've only gotten certain pieces to work. And, but while that's useful, it, it is tough. So you have to work through the different uh, libraries and, and figure out how what works for you. But we're going to show you just a demo of some of the things you can use with C types. C types is the C library for Python, allowing you to do Windows API calls directly from Python. So no more fiddling around with Railgun and breaking stuff. You get to just write a little bit of Python with your stupid spaces and tabs. <laughs> I'm going to get so much hate mail. And you're going to be able to get it running inside on the victim side. So let's do something very simple. Let's click over here, and we can see that I've already written a script called from C types import star copy file, and I'm going to copy calc.exe just directly to the desktop. Not that complicated. I just want to show you how this thing works. All right, so Python import h for to figure out how, what I'm doing, and then the file. Now, there are other options like name of the module you want to use for single files or R for the variable that's going to come out from it. And I don't have any output at all. So all it's going to do is do the copy and be done. So I don't have to send anything else. So example dot pi. I've already named it so that and it should be able to do it. Importing example dot pi. And it's done. And if you can see in the background, calc.exe is now on the desktop. That simple. There is so much that is unexplored with the Python extension onto Meterpreter that I just want you guys to try it out, learn. It can do so much. Uh, everything from, like I said, port scanning to making your own 
you know, persistence module in it, that it does a bunch of things for you without having to call back to Meterpreter every time. It's really great. I look forward to seeing what you guys make out of it. All right, so that's it. Email msf at hack5.org. Tell us all about your Python woes and how much you love Python versus Ruby. I'll take it, I understand. And stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. More Ruby, actually. <laughs> Huge thanks to everyone who supports the show. You support it, you can support us directly by donating at patreon.com slash mubix. I'm sure I'm gonna lose patrons just because of this episode. And every dollar helps, makes these shows more for you. And for that, I'm internally grateful. So until next time, I'm Mubix and I'll be hacking till the cows come home.